Aloha friends and family and welcome back to the channel. Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council and we are pleased to connect with all of you. We have been very interested in the path that you all will choose for your ascension experiences. Every single individual on earth and throughout the universe will have their own unique experience of ascension. And you are all choosing your own paths. Therefore, we suggest that you pay attention to which path you are choosing. Many individuals on earth believe that there has to be some sort of big cataclysmic event that will come before the shift is completed. Others believe that spaceships will come and take those who are ascending away to a different Earth. Some people believe that there will have to be certain events that will have to take place before the shift can occur, such as full disclosure we are here to recommend to you that you choose to have the path of ease and joy to becoming your higher self. If you look at the fifth dimension as a place that you are going to, then yes, you might need some sort of vehicle to take you there. But it's not really about that. Easing your way into the fifth dimensional version <clears throat> of you means that you love all aspects of yourselves. It means that you embrace all parts of you. It means that you forgive yourselves. And of course, it means that you are capable of holding compassion in your hearts for yourselves and others, even those who are doing all of the dastardly deeds. Ease your way into a new experience of self every day by looking for opportunities where you can be slightly more loving and gentle with yourselves. Look for ways to reduce the amount of lower vibrational energy that you are holding on to. Look for ways to soothe yourselves and definitely look for ways to feel all of those unpleasant emotions because as you do, you are disempowering them. A negative emotion has no power over you when you embrace it. It has lots and lots of power over you when you deny its existence. When you try to cover it up and push it down. Know what your typical responses are when you are experiencing one of those negative emotions and write them down. Remind yourself that when you get triggered, you tend to eat or have sex or gamble or whatever it is that you tend to do. Now there are certainly things you can do to help ease your way into the fifth dimensional version of yourself that are healthy. If you are triggered emotionally and you go for a walk or you go into nature and you get that higher vibrational support, that is a healthy way of dealing with something that is very unpleasant for you. What you see on television and in your movies is how characters usually deal with these unpleasant emotions. <clears throat> they will drink. They will fight. They will find some way of throwing themselves into their work so that they won't have to feel something unpleasant. 
those characters who are based on real people, of course, are going to have those more challenging experiences of shifting. When the human collective consciousness is ready for the shift to be completed, that's when it will happen. The date tends to move depending on which timeline you are on. Just keep intending to put yourselves on the best feeling timeline and know that you are inviting others to do so whenever you make that choice. Preparing for the event. We have finished our evaluation of the human collective consciousness <clears throat> and its ability to handle higher frequency energies. Here is what we have discovered. Not everyone responds in the same way to higher frequency energy. Those who are unprepared for it completely have quite a few ascension symptoms and can sometimes even experience a sort of mental breakdown or even a seizure. Those who are awake but not have been preparing themselves for the higher frequency energies might experience some bodily sensation, some weird dreams and some physical dehydration. Those of you who are awake and do expect the higher frequencies as they come in have beautiful experiences where you tap into new abilities, where you know yourselves as your higher selves for periods of time. <clears throat> and you also have many other positive outcomes. You might be wondering at this point, <clears throat> how it is possible to know when the higher frequency energies are coming so that you can be prepared. At this point, is a, it is a good idea to be prepared at all times. Don't just wait for a full moon or a solstice. Make sure that you are always hydrated, always rested. Make sure that you are constantly grounding feeling your emotions, connecting with nature, and opening yourselves up to receive. The experience of a heightened energy download can be one of the greatest experiences of your life. It can also be one of the worst. It really does depend on the environment those energies are stepping into. If the per person has a lot of unresolved, unfelt feelings, higher frequency energies can bring them all to the surface. If a person is not taking care of themselves physically, the energies can intensify their experiences of the illness or pain. And as we have said, you might as well stay prepared because you are getting closer and closer to ascension every single day. Ascension will be the ultimate download of higher frequency energies. Preparing yourselves for that major event that is coming in your lifetime is a very sound spiritual practice. All the things we have given you here as a way of taking care of yourselves and preparing higher frequency energies are also just good, sound practices for living a happy, healthy, fulfilled life. And so in many ways, those who are completely unaware that a shifting is occurring can be preparing themselves subconsciously. Certain individuals know that something is happening without putting it into words. And so you see, it really does not matter what you believe. It does, however, matter whether you listen to your inner guidance. And your inner guidance is always telling you the same things that we are. So we recommend <clears throat> that you listen and that you feel for these energies every single day. 
The first thing you can do when you wake up to prepare yourselves is to take the temperature of the energies that you can feel and see that the universe has in store for you. When you are prepared for anything, you have a much easier time of being there during this very tumultuous and shifty time of ascension. Shifting slowly. We are tremendously excited to be a part of this journey with all of you. You who are so heavily entrenched in your fourth dimensional ways. We want very much to pull you up into the fifth dimension. And yet we also understand the value of you experiencing the slow upward movement. Therefore, we are happy to gently nudge you and encourage you to come up into your version of the fifth dimension. We salute you <clears throat> excuse me, for having exactly what it takes to make that journey. You are beautiful beings of love and light, and you are there to experience yourselves as such even though there is plenty of darkness and hate all around. It is and has been a challenge for you to stay focused on what is inside of you and what is whole and pure. But that is what will always feel best to you. You will never feel what you ultimately want to feel by striking down the enemy, the ones who operate in the dark. You will always evolve and ascend when you recognize what is out there as also being inside of you. And when you take that approach to life, you open yourselves up to so much more. You don't have to limit yourself or your experience because you're not building a bubble around yourself and you're not out there lowering your vibration in an attempt or some kind of justice. We are beings who evolved and ascended in a star system where most people live like your Tibetan monks. And so we know firsthand how beneficial it is to go within, to feel, and to expand. Of course, in our star system, we never face the darkness in the way that you have or the way that the beings incarnating in the Orion star system have. But we are the examples to all of you who want to come up and meet us in the happy place, the place of unconditional love, compassion, and forgiveness. They are the path to ascension to the fifth dimension and you are the ones doing the hard work and the heavy lifting. We get to be the cheerleaders and we know that at times you want to shake your fists at us and tell us how unfair that is and we can accept that. We are not going to trade places with you, not right now, <clears throat> but trust us when we say that the next time around, you will be the cheerleaders. And we will be the ones in the lower dimensions, struggling with all the muck and mire of physical existence. We know that might not be of much solace to you right now, but we hope it helps. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Go 
sit on that rock. I hope you're not in a hurry. Hopefully, you know how to tune in. And I don't mean, uh, Push the play button. Hopefully you're able to link up, really connect. something very amazing just from connecting, just from linking up in these spaces, in these moments, in these places, where we move out of stasis. And we fractalize consciousness. Down many streams. So that we can take in. More light. More truth. More freedom. More empowerment. More peace. More wholeness. More healing. We're dreaming. Consciously dreaming. So this is a waking dream that we've become aware in. Which was the key, is the key. To mastery. If 
if we can call it a simulation, we can also call it a dream. Okay, so if you've become aware and awake in the dream, you're having a waking dream. That allows you to master. See, if you don't know you're in the dream and you're not aware in the dream, you're not awake in the dream, how are you going to master anything? Because you're just sort of going through motions, unaware. Unaware of everything. Who you are, what you are, where you are, when you are. So wake up in the dream. And realize it's a dream that you're awake in. You have awakened in. Let's see what my crazy cat's doing. This beautiful earth is a treasure so profound and so magnanimous that it draws those from far and space to come cherish the beauty that is here. We want you to feel that beauty inside yourselves and let it pulsate within your own beings. As you allow this beauty to come into you, it will move you profoundly and you will begin as a species to command that the beautification of earth become the first priority for all. We want to seed this idea into you so that you awaken to your responsibility to earth. We have awakened within you the responsibility to yourselves and you are on the road to becoming the best that you can be. We congratulate you. Now, what are you going to do for earth and how are you going to do it? We have taught you to command the best for yourself in all possible moments. Since Earth is your home, how are you now going to extend this energy to Earth and affect this planet with what you know? How many of you have walked your own property, considering it a sacred space, and let Earth know how much you treasure it that sort of communication will get you involved with the beautiful earth. Involve yourselves in doing. Look at your garbage, at what you are throwing away and at what you are unconscious of. It is an exact reflection of what we have asked you to do with yourselves. Look at your thoughts and at the garbage that clutters your psyche all we have taught you, you can extend to earth. Wherever you go, communicate with earth and let the planet know you are awakening. You must think of yourself as a thread of light wherever you walk, drive, fly, or visit. You are carrying your thread of light. As more and more threads are woven, around the planet, eventually there will be a fantastic cosmic wave of light.
We're in a world that is on the brink of slowing down before it goes into a mad frenzy. You can begin that slowdown by consciously taking greater care of Earth. The predominant consciousness on Earth at this time, particularly in the United States, maintains that having the best looking lawn is a status symbol. In order to have that best looking lawn, you use many pesticides and chemical fertilizers as possible into the lawn. And it begins to look like a carpet that would be in your living room. Where did that value system come from? And what is the sense in it? The sense in that value system is that someone made money off a product and created a marketing campaign that gave that product legitimacy and someone bought it. Communicate with Earth, listen to it, and let this beautiful planet teach you how to live in harmony. This is a slow process and you are not going to learn it overnight. Hear Earth saying, listen, would you like someone pouring pesticides on your skin? This is what happens when you pour them on the Earth. Earth is a sentient being, a collection of beings. The sentient beings that made up Earth came into this collective of consciousness out of love for the unity of this consciousness and desire to experience being a home for consciousness. <clears throat> this is like you being the home for all the bacteria and all the things that live on your skin and inside your body. You work with them. Earth understands that in order to be a good mother to its children, it must let the children learn their own lessons. Your lessons are, of course, the lessons of responsibility. If you want something, there are certain ramifications and things you must do and responsibilities you must take to accomplish your goal. Earth is teaching human beings responsibility by allowing you to create disruption upon its surface and into its interior. When Earth is in jeopardy and humanity has pushed things too far, Earth will do whatever is necessary to teach the human species about the proper care of its home in order for you as the inhabitants to learn a bigger lesson. In divine love, humanity and divine acceptance of its role as teacher, Earth will teach you about its own secrets and power so that you can understand how to walk with cooperation and love of Earth and not walk in disrespect. This inevitability leads to the overwhelming probability of Earth doing some major changes in order to capture consciousness of human beings and point out to them what they are missing. If 20 million people disappeared in an afternoon because of an earth change, perhaps the other humans would wake up. Perhaps. You have heard the predictions of earth changes over and over again. Some of you have taken them with a grain of salt. You have not thought they would happen to you. Though you might think they would happen to someone else or in a newspaper halfway around the world, what about when a change happens at your doorstep or in the next city over? What about when the major cities in the United States begin to collapse? How do you think you will feel if you awaken someday and find that there has been a tear in the earth from New York City to Washington, D.C. Would that be enough to shake you up a little bit? Enough to restructure and revalue your lives? You are becoming more 
aware of what is going on because now your news is beginning to carry the stories. The stories have actually been there for some time. There have been environmentalists and conservationists talking about environmental changes for 20 years, but people figured that the problems would fix themselves. Besides, environmental issues do not sell news, and to a certain extent, people have been not been interested in learning about responsibility. That attitude is going to backfire. Most people will claim ignorance and think the issues came out of nowhere. Things are going to get so severe that we predict there will be countries that will ban the use of the automobile. What is your responsibility in this? How willing are you to change? The time has come not to just talk, but do it. As you commit to change in your own life, you automatically make the change available to the entire planet. Earth is striving for its integrity. The planet feels deprived of its integrity, dishonored and unloved. Earth loves you and gives you a place to operate. It is a living organism. Earth is about to replenish its integrity and let you understand the importance of loving yourself by loving Earth. Love yourself and love Earth because they are the same. on a dimensional collision course and many dimensions or probabilities will intersect one another in this decade. Some of these realities will be shocking depending upon the level of shock each person needs to kick their consciousness into another paradigm. Shock does not mean destruction necessarily. It can simply be a method to alter the way you view reality. Whenever you are shocked by something, you can no longer grip reality the way you gripped it the moment before. There is an instantaneous kick in the stomach and everything changes. The world is in for numerous shocks and not simply on a national level. We are talking about global intersections of dimensions by which realities will seem to come tumbling down only for those whose realities need to crumble. The concept of probabilities maintains that there is no one reality and that you yourselves branch off into other realities continuously through your thoughts. It is not that you change the world, it is that you change which world you occupy. This goes back to the idea that the world is not solid. It is constructed of energy, and that energy takes form through the thoughts of those that participate within the world. There are, and there always have been, probable Earths and probable experiences. There are probable yous leading quite different lives then the you, you know, you are frequency and energy, you are pulsating to the beat of a chord of energy that sings you into existence, and you are so familiar with it that you stay focused continuously on one aspect of your experience. Experience is gained from many perspectives and you are learning how to change the frequency and beat so that you can notice what you usually do not notice.
dial in to a frequency you create that earth and you experience that which you have dialed into genuinely love the earth, you will genuinely love yourself. Your awareness of who and what earth is, is equivalent to the awareness of who you yourself are. mother and father is son, you are the father and the mother. Are 
the earth. The earth is you. Stay friends, we leave you in the love and light, the infinite creator.
geschaut. 